Okay, so my hair can I just turn off like two seconds ago? Just, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so let's start this off. Um, I don't freak with you. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba ah. Okay, so in the results tonight, yeah, so <laughs> that sort of thing was so funny. Okay, so this week was like top three judges' choice, you know, semifinals, judges' choice, and everything. 300th episode yesterday, 301 episode today. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast for everyone, it's just, I'm, whew, okay. So the top three each deserved a spot in the top two. And they were all amazing. And this season was actually probably the best season they've had because this was actually a real competition. It, I don't like Jordan Sparks. She can go die. Okay, um, Katy Perry was awesome. Adam's laugh when the girls jumped on stage. Priceless. I watched that video before. Priceless. Um, I think Chris had the best turnout when he went home, personally. And I think Adam had the least turnout. So let's get to the review. Um, what's his name? Danny Goki. Yeah, the judges. Paula's choice for him was Dance Little Sister. And I went on and I listened to these songs before they sang them so I knew what they were. And I was like, whoa, this is going to be an amazing song for Danny. And it was. He did amazing. Um, the song was good for his vocals. Um, when I heard this song, I was totally like, Goki song. Woo, go Goki. He did awesome. Um, the scatting was really cheesy, though, in the dancing, you know. Oh, it's cheesy. And I gave his performance a nine. Um, oh, sorry, text message. I get sidetracked. Okay, and now Chris saying apologize. And Kara, Kara and Randy picked this one. Um, I don't think he should have used the piano. It was kind of like a Matt song when he did it. Yeah. This wasn't the greatest performance, but he did do good, and I love his vocals, and I gave his performance an eight and a half. Okay, so, Lammy Lammy Adam. Burt. His fun's for name. Fun name's fun to write in cursive. Okay. So I was happy that Simon picked his choice and he picked one by you two. Band from the 80s, if you didn't know that. I think yes it was, because my mom talks about that. Okay. Um It's on. <laughs> I don't know. Someone said that and it was funny. Haha. -ha. Okay. He's got the softness in his voice when he sang this song and I really like that. And um and I just wanted to hear more. I love that softness in his voice. It's just, I really do like it. Um, you can give him any song to do, and he'll sing it great. I mean, you can give him, I love you, you love me, that song. And he would be like, whatever, I don't want to try. <laughs> um, he just blows my mind when he sings. He, the fit from... It's everything from the feeling behind the song all the way to the color of his shoes. It just... I don't even know. The only thing that I don't like is how he does that tongue thing, like the kiss tongue, but he's got a shorter tongue, so it's not right. And he's like, Elvis will be saying, he's like, eh, thank you, thank you very much. Whenever he sings it, bothers me. Um... I love how Simon booed Randy. He's like, boo! Just because Simon picked that song. Um, I gave the performance nine and a fourth stars. So the first round... I thought I went Adam as first place, Danny as second place, and Chris as third place. Okay, now it's going to personal choice. Okay, Danny Goki saying, you're so beautiful. You are so beautiful. The beginning was shaking for me, but when the instrument started, it was amazing. My jaw literally dropped. I was like, he is amazing at this. I mean, that's the kind of music he has to do. It was brilliant beyond belief. I was like... I couldn't stop. I just kept because I, I had a track meet, so I'd record it. Thank goodness my mom recorded it for me, because I couldn't watch it if I could. Anyway, so I kept running. I was like, "Did he seriously just do that? It was just amazing." Um, and I, yeah, that's the kind of record he should do is like that. And for these ones, I had to do decimals because they're so close together. But I gave um him a nine point five or a nine and a half, whatever you feel. Okay. Um, so then Chris sang Heartless. When I first heard he was going to sing that, I was like, oh no. Crap. But, I love that he chose to do it just with the guitar acoustic. The beginning was kind of shaky like Danny's, but once he started playing the guitar, it was amazing. 
it was definitely better than the original. Um, it was so interesting and best performance he has done all season long. I just love the vocals and the only thing that bothered me is his face when he's like, the blood was his blood. I gave him 9.6 or 9 and 3 fifths. Whatever you prefer, decimals or fractions. Okay, then Adam sang Cry by Aerosmith. I love the uniqueness of his voice. I know everyone's like, it's just screaming, blah, blah, blah. But personally, I love the uniqueness of his voice. When he sings, you know it's Adam. That's the thing that I love about him. You know it's him. He's a phenomenal singer, and he did phenomenally on this job. His album will be one of those albums where you want to listen to every single one of the songs. Like, not just, like, one. Like, for my Blake Lewis album, there's, like, one song I don't like listening to. And with Danny... Adam, I like to listen to all of his because he can sing everything. And he's the most amazing guy ever, ever, ever to be on American Idol. I don't care what anyone says. He is. And I gave him a 9.8 or a 9 and 4 fifths. So I want to tell you something funny before I go into the thing. First, let me do this. I always forget. So Danny Goki, he's saying, let's recap, he's saying, Dance Little Sister. And... You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Sorry. Whenever I hear that song, I think of um, Little Rascals. Okay. Chris Allen. He sang. What did he sing? Apologize and Heartless. And then Lammy Adam. He sang One and Cry. I got a poster. Okay. So. The second round, this is how I put it. Adam first, Chris second, and Danny last. And for my closing notes, Adam Lambert was a top performer, like every week. Top performer, and he's going to win next week because... But I... I shouldn't have said that, but um... Top two... Adam and Chris. Who thought? Chris would make it to the top two. Really? I was like, what? I mean, that just makes Adam the winner. I just pulled my earring out. Ugh. Okay, so that means karaoke goki is off. Goodbye. Um, and I thought either Chris or Danny should be off. I mean, I'm just going to win. Um, okay, so next week, top two. Last week, tears. Four weeks up to school for me. Okay, bye everyone. Peace. And hamburgers.